Let's look at one more matrix of a linear transformation. For this section, we really will just look at it, but it will come back to be of use to us later in this course. And the linear transformation in question is rotation. So what this transformation does is it fixes an angle with theta on R2. We can represent our vectors visually like this. And this transformation takes this vector and rotates it counterclockwise by theta radians. Let's find the matrix of this linear transformation. Our domain is R2. So we're looking at E sub one, equals one is zero. And E sub two equals zero, one. Here is E sub one. And if this is theta radians, here is T of E sub one. Now, this is the point. One, zero. This vector has a length of one. And rotation doesn't change the length. So this vector has a length of one. What does that tell you? It tells you that this point here, T of E sub one, is on the unit circle. Sorry, not the uh, cleanest circle I know, but I hope it gets the point across. If we have this point on the unit circle created using this angle, this point, is the cosine of theta comma the sine of theta. So T of E sub one is the cosine of theta the sine of theta. What about T of E sub two? Okay, so we took this vector, we rotated it by theta, we got here. Now, we're taking this vector and we're rotating it by theta. Let's create two right triangles. Uh, 
I know it doesn't really look it in this picture, but these right triangles are similar. They both have a hypotenuse of one. They both have this angle theta in common. They both have these right angles in common meaning they both have this angle in common. So all of the angles are the same. And because these hypotenuses are the same, that means that all of the sides are the same. So this distance equals this distance. And this distance equals this distance. Well, this distance is the cosine of theta. And this distance, I'm kind of cramped here. But it's the sine of theta. So, this distance is the sine of theta. This vertical distance is the cosine of theta. These provide the x and the y coordinates of this point. This point is in the second quadrant, meaning its cosine, its x coordinate, I should say, is negative. And its y coordinate is positive. And that gives us the rotation matrix. As this matrix is called, that has this as its first column and this as its second column. So, sorry, I, I know this ended up being kind of messy. Uh, there's a reason I'm a math major and not an art major. If you look at the notes, um, that accompany this video. I have computer generated diagrams, so they're nicer to look at, maybe, if you're struggling to make sense of this.